And Cody did an excellent job casting, except for he's gonna break our antenna. You must have at least 70. And how fast are we gonna be able to throw it again? Well, we can just grab it, and if it's already untangled, you can pretty much grab that one third right away, put it here, grab that bottom line, and you can already start looking out for the bait for your next throw. Collect it, grab this, and now we're gonna throw it again. Oh, there's more bait right there. And you're gonna throw the net forward with your right hand as you pull back with your left hand. And whenever you throw the net forward with your right hand, you wanna throw it straight forward, not to the right and not to the left. He looks through the net, he goes like this, reaches down, grabs it, puts this over his hand, just like I'm teaching you guys now, he grabs the net. He goes, I think I can get it open, watch this. Throws it, catches a ton of mullet in deep water with a little five foot net, first time he ever threw a gas net. Hello everybody, this is Captain Cody with GlobalFishingReports.com. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to throw a cast net. I have two cast nets here, I got an eight footer and a four footer. And I actually have another cast net laying over there. I'm gonna show you the two easiest ways to throw any size cast net. Let's get to it. All right, from start to finish, I'm gonna throw, show you how to throw a cast net. This is the thing that you place on your hand. This is actually nice because if you catch a really big fish, this will actually sort of pull off or slip off kind of easy, or probably just break if you get pulled in by a really big fish, or for some reason your line gets wrapped in the motor and you're gonna get pulled into the water. So I always place this on my right hand and then we're gonna collect the line. To collect the line, you just go, maybe not a full arm's length, just a partial arm's length, and put this in your right hand and we're gonna collect all of the line. And that's important to just have a good starting point. So we're gonna collect all of that line. And then once we collect the line, with the left hand we're gonna grab this horn and we're gonna pull the net straight, all the way straight out. And then we're gonna take this horn and we're gonna place it into our right hand, like that. And then we're gonna work the line down with your left hand and sort of collect the rope. But the first thing you wanna do is you wanna untangle the net. To untangle the net, you work 100% of the net from one side to the other to make sure that the lead lines are not twisted and that none of these lines that close the net are twisted or pulling funny. That was pretty good, it wasn't too tangled. And now, you'll take it and you still have it collected, you'll go right to your hip, like so. And whenever you're right at your hip, you're gonna you're actually, I usually have it like this. So it's all the way across at your hip. And then I take that one coil and with your right hand, you grab underneath your left hand like that. Now you're almost ready to throw, but you take your left hand and you fan out one third to one half of your net. And you're sort of making sure that the net's untangled as you're fanning it. Now that you have one third to one half of the net, you're gonna take your left hand, you're gonna bring it to your right hand, like so, and you sort of grab it with your thumb. Then you come down in the front of the net where this one line is right here, and you work it down, and you grab right near the bottom. It's like one, one length, and you're gonna place this underneath the thumb on your right hand, like this. This sort of just helps to start to open the net whenever you're throwing it out. And then you can throw it just like this, but I just sort of like to collect a little bit more line. And then I sort of pinch this lead line with my index finger and with my thumb. And now I'm really ready to throw. And whenever you throw the net, it's important how you do it. You actually kind of do really want to come back and swing. And the nice thing about this method is if you're on the boat, you can throw over things. Or if you're wading out in deep water, you can have your net way up here and you can throw it out so this is the best way to throw a cast net that I have found. Now I'm gonna show you me throwing it and then closing the net. So we're gonna take it, we're gonna swing it out, and we're gonna throw it out there. 
And it's important that your cast net method can throw really far because a lot of times the bait isn't sitting right in front of you. It's actually 20 feet out. So some people think, oh, I want to get a 12 foot net because I'm going to catch the most fish. Well, if your bait's 30 feet out and your net's only 24 feet, going to open up 24 feet, you're still going to miss all the bait on the edge. So sometimes it's actually better to have an eight foot net or a six foot net that you can really whip out there. And I have some four foot nets here and I can probably throw those 30 or 40 feet and I actually catch a ton of bait just in small nets. But here we go, we're gonna throw this sucker. So we're gonna take it. That opened up pretty good. And now, once it goes, you're gonna let it sink. And if you're in shallow water, you saw how we're only in about six inches of water here. If there was bait, it's gonna get trapped almost instantly. But you can just let it get trapped. You don't have to like be too fast on pulling it in. But you always sort of collect your line again, just like you're gonna throw it again, so you're ready to throw next time. So now you're collecting your line, and whenever you're gonna close the net, you do short little tugs to pull it. You don't just start yanking it too fast, because then the net is gonna pull off and some of the bait's gonna slide out. So you just do short little tugs to make that net close good. And once it's closed good, you just make sure it's closed, and then your bait, is all going to get collected in this part of the net here. So you walk the net over to wherever you're going to put it. If you're going to put it in a bucket or you're going to put it in the live well of the boat. And you raise the net back up again and that sort of opens it up. And not only does it open it up, but it makes it so that you're ready to throw next time. But again, I almost got tangled there, so you don't want to be tangled. So now we're actually all ready to throw next time after we just dumped our bait, right? Okay, so let's throw it again. How fast are we going to be able to throw it again? We can just grab it, and if it's already untangled, you can pretty much grab that one third right away, put it here, grab that bottom line, and you can already start looking out for the bait for your next throw. Collect it, grab this, now we're going to throw it again. Oh, there's more bait right there. Throw it again. See how fast we just got that loaded again? It's one of the fastest methods to load to get those nice big openings every time. But whenever you throw the net, what you do is you swing back and you sort of fling this arm out and you're trying to get all of these weights to start spreading out. And once they're spreading out, you keep a hold of this hand and you pull back on it. And that helps open up the whole net. Now we're gonna watch that last throw in slow motion. So you swing the net back and you're gonna throw the net forward with your right hand as you pull back with your left hand. And whenever you throw the net forward with your right hand, you want to throw it straight forward, not to the right and not to the left. The next thing to notice is that this net is almost fully open and I still have a hold of it with my left hand. That means the whole time the net was opening, I was pulling back with that left hand, which is actually really important. All right, when throwing a cast net with this method, a lot of people ask me, my net's not opening up all the way, what am I doing wrong? And the first thing I usually say is, are you making sure your net is 100% untangled? That's the main reason why whenever you throw, you think you have a pretty good throw, but it only opens up halfway, or it throws a banana, or it opens three quarters of the way, it's most likely because your net was tangled. But if your net's not tangled and you're still having problems, then there's a few things you can do to try and modify your technique to try and get to open and larger circles to get that nice pancake effect. So we're gonna talk about a couple of those things. So the same thing we always do, is we're gonna start just like we always do, and then you can decide how much net to collect depending on the size of your net. If you have a 12 foot net, you might wanna collect a lot more. If you got a four foot net, you might only need to collect a little bit. So you can, we're gonna try this time, we're just gonna collect a little bit. This is less than probably a third of our net. And then I'm always gonna do this step still. And then with this step, you can, if it's a small net, just try it like this, right? So we don't even have any more collected. And maybe that'll open up a little bit better. Let's try this method to see if we get it to open in a bigger circle. See, not as great. Kind of opened up maybe three quarters. All right, let's try and modify how we're throwing it again, but this time we're gonna collect a whole bunch of the net. So we're gonna collect more than half of the net and put it in this right hand. 
to see how that changes our throw. So now we got more than half of our net and we're gonna place this right below our thumb and then we're gonna grab it and then we'll collect a little bit of net like we normally do as well. And we're gonna pinch this line. And now we're gonna see how this opens up compared to that last throw. That actually opened up halfway decent, but it still isn't a full, full circle. All right, this time I'm actually gonna teach my dad how to throw this eight foot net using this first method that I showed you guys. So the first thing you do is you place that on your right hand. That's good, and then you wind up your line. So he's collecting his line. Yep, and then grab the horn and you pull the whole net straight. Yep, that's pretty good. And then you grab that and you place it right underneath your thumb. Just like that, yep. Now you're gonna, with your left hand, slide it down the net. You go right to your hip, yep. And then coil it back, yep. Yep, and place that, open up your thumb and you place, no, you don't twist it, you have your hand the other way. Yep, place it like that, underneath your hand. I think I was doing the camera. All right, and now you reach down, you fan out one third of your net. I actually, you, I'll show you. You pulled your hand this way. I always pull, sort of collect it like that with your hand open. All right, now you take this, you sort of twist it and you place it underneath your thumb. Yep, like that, correct. Then you reach down and you grab that outside line Yep, now you're gonna place that underneath your thumb. Yep. Now you're almost ready to throw, just grab that lead line. Yep, whenever you throw, you're gonna swing that right hand out far and pull back with the left hand. Nice throw. Oh, you gonna hit me? Ah! That was a good throw. I almost got you. You did catch me. That one was pretty good. You can see in the sand, pretty good circle. This is just an eight foot net. Throwing a cast net. Just turned nine. He just learned. He only has done two casts. We're gonna wrap it up like this. And now he's gonna teach you how to do it. This is a four foot net. He's about four foot tall. I thought it was six. Nope, this is a four footer. Four foot radius, eight feet diameter. Um, so you take this and grab it a little bit below this. Yep. And then you collect a little amount of it like this. And then you turn it like this and then you hold it with your thumb. And then you take the another of one of these. Um, and then you hold it with your thumb like this, and then you take this. And what he wasn't learning, what it took him a while, a couple of casts to learn is to throw it out. When he's throwing, you pull, you shoot this out, but then you need to pull a little bit back, and that opens the second half of the Yeah, net. you pull it back after you let go of the first one. Wow, nice. Nice throw. And you let it, and you pull it up. All right, now I'm going to show you the easiest way to throw a small cast net. This cast net is four foot tall. I would say this method is a really effective method for to throw if you are one foot taller than the net that you're throwing. So I'm six foot four, this is a four foot net. So this is gonna be really easy for me to throw with this method. And right now what I did is I just collected the hand line just like I would any other time I'm gonna throw it. And I'm gonna grab the net right at the horn with my right hand. I'm gonna follow this down and I'm gonna grab the outside lead line right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this around the horn of the net like that and I'm just gonna pinch it with my finger this is the same way that they did it with the easy throw cast net where they have that metal ring but just imagine there's a metal ring there and you're sort of placing this lead line around that that metal ring but there's actually no need to have the metal ring it's actually really inconvenient so we have it just like that 
then you follow the outside line down and you grab it just like this and that's all you do to load your net it's really really simple but you can see if you have a really tall net you wouldn't really be able to throw it effectively because you wouldn't be able to hold the entire net but what we do now is we just swing this out so whenever we throw we swing this out with our right hand and we pull back with our left hand and this is a really effective method for throwing really really far i can throw it like this and i can actually use all of the the line the hand line i can throw it so far and that's the advantage of these little nets a lot of times the bait is just sitting way out there it just never comes close to where you are because it sort of has an idea that you're there and is pretty smart but i'll show you this this net opening up and me throwing it here we go i won't throw it that far this time just so you can sort of see the mechanisms of how it opens up i'll just pretend like i'm throwing it off the dock and i'm trying to throw it really close to the dock right here see how easy that was i mean it's not a huge net to open up but for a little four foot net that's all the more that they open no matter how you throw them all right, now I'm gonna go start to finish on throwing that small cast net, except for this time I'm gonna throw it for distance. I'm gonna throw it really, really far. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna wind up my line. This net actually has a really long hand line. I think it's like 35 or 50 feet, which is actually really nice. I don't like short hand lines. A lot of times if it's short, you throw it past the hand line, then the net just closes and you don't catch any bait at all. So this is a nice long hand line. So I'm gonna grab the net right here, come down, grab it, throw it over top, sort of pinch it with my finger or with my thumb right here and I'm already loaded up and ready to throw this time I'm gonna whip it way out there like I'm trying to catch some mullet that's actually just past the sandbar there here we go see how far I could throw that this net had a long enough hand line and I'm throwing into the wind and I still got a nice wide opening for long range that's actually really important these little four foot nets are really fun they're easy to throw and they're great for kids and for kids this is i think it's a ghost shore net it's got a long hand line and it just has the steel coated weights which is nice because your lead's not hitting off the boat and hitting off of the dock so for kids this is a great little net and it's actually good for adults too whenever you got bait that's way out there and you don't want to catch you know a couple hundred pieces of bait you just need 20 pieces of bait you can just get a little four foot net like this. This is the easy way to throw it. I'm gonna take it, throw it right over our hand here. I'm gonna pretend like you're the bait. I'm not gonna throw it over the camera. I'm just gonna throw it near the camera. Gentle throw, nice and easy. That opened up perfect for a little four foot net. And you don't have to struggle to throw a, throw a cast net. That way is so easy. And actually, I used to brag to my best friend about how good I was at throwing nets. We were actually down in Texas, and he had never thrown a cast net before. And he just grabs it. He looks to the net. He goes like this, reaches down, grabs it, puts this over his hand. Just like I'm teaching you guys now, he grabs the net. He goes, I think I can get it to open. Watch this. Throws it. Catches a ton of mullet in deep water with a little five foot net. First time he ever threw a cast net. And he never lets me live it down either. All right, this cast net is a four foot, it's called an easy throw cast net or the easy throw method. And it actually has this ring on it. This ring's actually annoying, but the method itself is actually good. And it's what I'm gonna show you on how to throw little cast nets. What you do is you grab the, the ring like this, you go straight down and you grab the outside lead line. And in this case, you actually place the lead around this ring, like so. And now you're actually ready to throw. You grab this lead line right here, and you're ready to go. But this method only works for nets that are about one foot shorter than you are. So I'm six foot four, this is a four foot net, so it'll work. But if I'm trying to throw a six foot net like this, it's a huge pain, and I wouldn't recommend it. But I'll show you the method just so you guys know how it works. And if you see these, you'll know the mechanism behind them. I wouldn't recommend buying the ring just because it's just kind of doesn't splash as well and sinks a little bit slower. And there's no need to, you can just place the line over top and grab it the same way without using the actual ring. But it is an easy method to throw. You just take it and sort of throw it out. I'll do it one more time because it didn't open very good. Grab the bottom line. 
And I probably just didn't swing enough. I didn't put enough effort into that last throw. That's why it didn't open very good. So you can get it to open, but if I, I guys just showed you how to do it with a four foot net without a ring, and it was actually a little bit easier and it actually opened up a little bit better, I would say. So this is kind of a cool product, but I wouldn't recommend getting the ring, but I do really like that basic method of throwing a cast net. And I actually have on my website, globalfishingreports.com, I think the article is 23 or 24 best cast nets and I have the best cast nets for a bunch of different situations like this one is eight foot tall it's got plastic coated steel weights that don't sink very fast but if you're in really shallow water this is actually a perfect net it's easy enough to throw and it still catches a lot of bait but if you're a charter boat captain or something like that and you need to just do one throw and catch a ton of bait for the entire day then you're going to want a bigger net like a 12 foot net and if you're in deep water, you're trying to catch mullet or pilchards or something in water that's more than four feet deep, you're going to want to get at least one pound of lead per radius foot. And you're going to want to get a net that's minimum of eight foot or bigger, eight to 12 foot. It's just a little bit more work to throw the bigger nets. And you can't necessarily throw them as far, so it's not always an advantage to have a big net. So this is three eighth inch mesh, which is good for bait that is two inches or bigger. If it's smaller than two inches, it's gonna just slip through the cracks or their head's gonna get stuck in there like a gill net and they're gonna die. This 3 8 inch mesh is for pilchards. That's probably the number one thing it's used for, but it also catches all the bigger baits too if you're in shallow water. And for mullet or something, they actually get mesh sizes that it's about an inch or a bigger square size. The diagonal length is a little bit longer, but you'll use those for going deep for really big bunker or mullet. Who shows up? <laughs> the answer is no. You got at least one. You got two. Both, I got four. Five. Five? Yep. Alright. Yep, we got five. We're gonna try. Hey, Cody just did a cast with right, my. Let's see if we got anything. My great, my great captaining skills, commanding when to cast. Oh man, we got some bunker. Oh my gosh! We got a bunker! I think we might have hundreds. Oh! Oh my gosh! Dad did a good job finding the bunker for us. Cody did an excellent job casting, except we're going to break our antenna. You must have at least 70. We got to the beach for our cast net video but it's underwater because it's high tide. All at mud over there.